Privacy lets you shop online using virtual cards instead of your real ones. They help you protect your personal information. So, if you don't want to get scammed, head over to privacy.com slash Nick White and you'll automatically get $5 credited to your account. Reporting live uh, from Chicago again. The last video, see, people seem to enjoy me giving money to computer programmers. So I flew back over to Chicago. It started raining, but that's not going to stop me. I'm back out on the streets with Kenny Gunderman once again. And uh, yeah, we're going to be giving coding problems to people. We're going to be giving a ton of money away. And I'm going to go broke. So I'd really appreciate it if you guys could smash that like button and uh, you know subscribe so that it makes it a little bit better and we can keep growing and give away 10 grand then 20 grand then a you know a Lamborghini when we're coding Computer programming? I do Oh, do you want to solve the Fibonacci sequence function and for a hundred dollars? It's been a long time since I did that. If you know it, you know it. If you don't, you don't. I don't. Not today. All right, it's all good, dude. That's all right. Go solve this real quick. Uh, it's not a trick question. It's uh, it's like math, college. It's college level, computer science and stuff. <laughs> Yeah, for this function, Fibonacci. Is this like your uh, college test or something? This is my homework for tonight. <laughs> 21? Oh, uh, no, that, that that's not the answer. Three. That was close, though. 22! <laughs> no. 23? 28? 25? 29? Uh, it's not a number, it's code. Like, uh, it's like you have to write code out and stuff. <laughs> it's not a number. Like a programming language like Python or Java, JavaScript. I might be able to do Java. Do whatever you want. You can do whatever you want. You can solve it iteratively or recursively. I would go recursive. I mean, do you want me to explain it or write it? No. Write it. If you write it out, if you can write it out, I have a marker. If you know, if you know the answer. I think I might. I don't know. Oh, that would be great. All right. Then you just lost money. All right. Let me see if I got the marker. So if. Sorry, am I supposed to talk in the mic? You don't have to talk. I'm just, you know, if you want to express you, your thoughts. This is just the, the base case. So if n is less than, um, so it'd be n is zero. This is n is one. So you have, if n is less than two, you return one. And then, otherwise, you're just going to return um, fib of n plus. <laughs> Fib of n minus one, because it'd be the last two numbers combined. So then, if n is two, you'd return. Oh, you do f of n minus one and f of n minus two. There we go. There we go. So f of n minus one, f of n minus two. Oh man, this is all messy. I'm sorry. No, it's all good. You, uh, you're on to it. <laughs> um, this line is definitely correct. Normally, we do write uh, if n is less than or equal to 1, return n. But the only case you're missing is if n is 0, which, I mean, the value would be 0, right? So if we were given n is 0. But, um, you know, that's good enough, honestly. Oh, yeah. There you go. All right, man. 100 bucks. Yeah. No, thank you for helping me. Um, thank you all for helping me promote education to the youth. That's our mission here. Not, not YouTube views, education.
man, dude. Um, yeah, there you go. Thanks, dude. Okay. What is, like, is, it, like, is it a number? Like, what's the answer? Yeah, so, so this problem is twosome. Oh, I need to, I need to put uh, an example. So basically, we have this array. You're going you're gonna to take two numbers from this array, and you're going to add them up to a certain sum. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah, so you got to write code to solve that. What does write code mean? What does write code mean? No friends. My brother is a computer science. Let me FaceTime. Okay, no FaceTimes. I don't think anyone here knows how to write code. <laughs> What was that? Can we like solve a riddle instead? No. <laughs> okay, okay. How about this? I'll give you I'll give you uh, twenty dollars if you can name four programming languages. Python. Uh, uh, JavaScript. Okay, one person. What? Yeah, one person. This is my game. I get to make up the rules. What are the four programming languages? Fortran, COBOL, C, C plus plus. There's some old ass programming languages, but uh, <laughs> we'll take it. <laughs> there you go, there's 20. You gotta take it. You gotta take it for the video. Thank you. All right. My dude said COBOL, Fortran, <laughs> fucking C. <laughs> All right, so palindromes. All right, palindromes. We have um, race car is a palindrome because race car backwards, race car. Cat is not a palindrome, so that would be false because backwards, you know, that's, you know, T-A-C. So let's do a um, function is palindrome and just um, just ask, do you have, um, what's your coding experience? Just for the, uh, you know, the video or whatever? Uh, I work for like a trading firm. Trading firm, all right, so you're like super smart and stuff. All right, cool, dude. Um, here, I'll just hold it up. Uh, oh yeah, do whatever program language you want. Okay. Is this no, I think it's fine. So what's your strategy here? Uh, so you just, uh, you get the length of the string, you start out with like the, just do a for loop going halfway through the string, but then the first character is just the, the first character and then you grab the last character. And then if they're ever different, then you automatically know it's not a palindrome, so you just return false. And you just iterate through, basically going first and last, second to first, second to last, third to first, third to last, and just work your way into the middle of the string. Uh, but I'm just making sure it works when you get to the, the odd character in the middle. Honestly, I think it is exactly right. Oh. Just looking at it, honestly. Right, because if the length is three, right, then it would be first character, last character, and then they'd both be at two on the second loop or whatever. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like an odd number. Yeah. I think this looks great. Two-pointer approach, the optimal approach here. Um, return true. Hold on, let's see here. Return false if the characters are different. And return true if you make it through and all the characters are the same. Yeah, checks out. All right, awesome. Yeah, dude, that's it. You got a first try right away. Heck yeah. Three, four, five. There you go, man. All right, dude. Yeah, nice to nice Freaking... To this oh my god <laughs> all right guys that's it for now i don't want to make this video too long me and kenny were actually downtown and giving away tons of money so i have way more clips i might make a part two but if you want to see a bunch more clips he made a whole video on his channel i'm going to link that in the description thank you guys love you guys and thank you to privacy.com for sponsoring the video there are so many websites these days that i can't even figure out which ones are reputable I always find good deals, but I'm worried about entering my credit card information because it could easily be stolen. That's where privacy.com helps me out. The way it works is it hides your credit card number. It creates a virtual card number that is locked to whichever merchant you're shopping at. So even if the merchant gets hacked, they won't be able to take your credit card number and use it somewhere else. And if they try, you'll actually get a push notification so that you're always informed and you can cancel your card immediately. The cards are extremely easy to set up. All you need is an account, 
and then you link your cards to your banking information. My favorite part is that they have a browser extension that autofills your information when you're making a purchase to help you save time. Privacy is PCI DSS compliant and they use military grade encryption to secure your information. They also offer two-factor authentication. And since they make money from merchants, there's no cost to you. It's completely free to use. And if you go to privacy.com slash Nick White, you're going to get five bucks for free. That's privacy.com slash Nick White linked in the description and you get a free five bucks. So yeah, go get that.